Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. The Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi issues directive, fresh directives to Nigerian youths as things begin to unfold. So Peter Obi has asked Nigerian youths to take this uh, to take this very seriously and begin something in earnest, or you know, it may affect the whole balance of things. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember that we all must speak adequately to end every abnormalities going on. Nigeria is our country and we have an opportunity. We have opportunity to make a lot of difference to make Nigeria what it needs to be. The Labour Party presidential candidate in the last general election, Peter Obi, has called on Nigerian youths to actively work against the entrenched corruption and criminality at various levels of government. Let's start from the security into the judiciary. Nigeria is in trouble. In a statement released on his social media handle on Saturday, Peter Obi encouraged Nigerian youths not to be intimidated by the challenges and poor governance in the country. He emphasized the importance of raising their voices to demand better governance. Obi shared these views while serving as a keynote speaker at an event in Enugu State focusing on accrediting actions to achieve, to achieve SDGs in Nigeria through enterprise, entrepreneurship and civic engineer engagement. The event which took place on Friday aimed at discussing strategies for achieving suitable development goals through civic partnership and entrepreneurship. The statement read, yesterday I had a very useful day in Enugu with a cross-section of Nigerian youth. The event was a very interesting interactive section with young entrepreneurs, youth advocates and change agents in an event aimed at discussing how to accelerate actions to achieve the SDGs in Nigeria through entrepreneurship and civil engagement, a topic of critical importance to the nation, especially the youth whose future will be secured if we do the right things. As a keynote speaker, I pointed out to them that the suitability development goals, SDGs, are a follow from a millennium development goals, MDGs, 2020 to 2000 to 2015, which before it ended in 2015, none was ever achieved in Nigeria because they were not mainstream into development agents of government. Unlike in any other country like China, India, where people actively made sure that they achieved their goals. I related to the enterpri enterprising youth, how Nigerian, how the number of goals in the MDGs was to fight extreme poverty. But unfortunately, within the period trying to implement MDGs, more Nigerians became poorer. Why other nations who mainstreamed the MDGs into their developmental agents and followed it like China, India, pulled three, four, three, nine million and two, seven, one million out of poverty, respectively, at the same period and time frame which we have to implement some of this. The Nigerian society that we have today, deliberate actions have to be taken in order for youth to find their usefulness mm -hmm. and find their relevance. Currently, with what we are experiencing and having, if this country is to move forward, everybody will have to ensure that they do their part, bringing up themselves to the speed in order for Nigerian youth to have a life tomorrow. If we continue in this way and manner, the opportunity to alleviate poverty is almost impossible. And so everyone has got a duty to ensure that they put hands to work. There is poor governance in the country and no real aim to alleviate poverty. There are no structural, there are no structural emphasis, emphasis on how to ensure that some of these things are eradicated within a speculated time, putting goals and visions, mission statement, and starting the work even now. With what we currently have, there is no future for the Nigerian youth. With what we currently have, the future of this country look bleak and we need to be intentional in order to change 
the course of what we have already today. If Nigeria is to get to the very point where at some at some time we will no longer have these people who bring no sense of direction to our nation, then every single person we need to begin to act now. So that's Peter will be putting, you know, putting things in place, saying if nation if a nation is to change, the people will have to begin work now. You don't wait till tomorrow. You make hail while the sun is shining. Once the sun stops shining, you cannot make any further hail. You only make the hail while the sun is shining. Once the, once, the, once the sun is gone, once it's winter, once it's autumn, once it's spring, you can't make it. It's during the, you know, when the sun is shining, they call it summer. That's the only time you can adequately make this hail and, you know, get the best out of it. So it is important that Nigerians begin to look into all of this and that every single person needs to begin to know that we all have a past to contribute. So we can't just sit there, fold our arms and exhume that everything is going on well and that the nation, everything is in place. The people, the, the rich keep getting richer, not minding how to get the youth out of poverty, not minding how to get the youth out of poverty and put things in place for Nigeria to become a better place. Every time... You know, we have an opportunity to make a difference and we do nothing about it. It's just like a, a, a chunk of gold thrown into, thrown into the sea. And guess what? You may not be able to find it. And so if we want to get, we want to get you know, things right back and working, everyone, we need to begin to what, take things rather very seriously and put you know, the nation first of all in place and put things right back on track in ensuring that we do not you know, um, we do not uh, dismiss us and we put us first, okay? Put the nation first in ensuring that Nigeria move forward. Please don't forget you have a voice and every single one of us must do everything humanly speaking possible to bring this nation out of the extreme poverty and help the nation become better. If, every, if, if the nation become better and everything is going well, everybody will enjoy the Nigeria and everybody will have opportunity to make a lot of change. Please don't forget, you are important. So let no one shut your voice. Yes, have a fantastic and lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. We have a voice. We must speak out. We must ensure that we stick together to end every reign of abnormalities going on. Bye-bye. Bye for now.